Chapter 231. At least I've got some bite. What a powerful body. Fepperson who drew the sword landed in front of Song Shi with a shocked expression. He was dressed in a white robe band, had a thin face. His figure stopped like a sword, and his aura was unstoppable. He had the aura of a sword that could cut through mountains and rivers. He carried six swords on his back and held one in his hand. The graceful strike just now was released by this sword. Zenith Heaven Sword King. Song Shi recalled the scene in the Thousand Poisons mountain range and recognized this person. The person he could only look up to back then was now on par with him. Let her go. The Zenith Heaven Sword King demanded. You're lucky I didn't kill her. And that's only because she's pretty. Song Shi hugged her small waist and touched Chen Yiling's face. You should know that it's you who attacked first. Don't touch me. Chen Yiling glared at Song Shi, and her cheeks turned red, instinctively. There might be some misunderstanding between us. The Zenith Heaven Sword King took a step back. He was afraid that this person would harm Chen Yiling's life. It's not just a little bit of a misunderstanding. Ever since I got here, you've all been full of yourselves. Song Shi sneered. I don't care what Great Jin does, but I'm not interested in taking taking the blame or be left with the punishment. The Zenith Heaven Sword King looked at Song Shi's powerful body and nodded. You shouldn't be from the Sacred Fire Sect. You're not in the intelligence report we received. Moreover, their cultivation techniques doesn't value body refinement. It's impossible for someone of the sect to cultivate a body like yours. You've got some brains, San Shi chuckled. Then please let my disciple go. I'm sorry, but from how you acted just now, I don't trust you. San Shi pointed in the air and suddenly retreated. He sensed that many Zenith Heaven Guards were sealing off his escape route. In addition, this Zenith Heaven Sword King was not weak. There was no need to continue using this identity to cause trouble for the Song family. The Zenith Heaven Sword King's expression darkened. He formed a seal and pointed. The six swords on his back were all unsheathed. In an instant, Sword Chi soared into the sky. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. The six swords scattered into a sword net and shot at Song Shi. The Zenith Heaven Sword King followed closely behind wanting to keep Song Shi behind. Song Shi pursed his lips and fiddled with Chen Yiling a few times, causing Chen Yiling's hands and feet to be like octopuses wrapped around him. Stopped by Ngob scene, Chen Yiling was extremely embarrassed. At this moment, she was hugging Song Shi's neck tightly in extremely intimate position. Her legs were wrapped around Song Shi's waist. She had never been so intimate with a man before. Even though she had her heart and soul integrated into the sword Dao path, her reaction was similar to that of an ordinary young woman. The Zenith Heaven Sword King's expression changed. He had no choice but to stop his attack. Otherwise, even if he cut San Shi into pieces, his disciple would also be torn into pieces. He suddenly retracted his attack, causing the nomological power in his body to surge. His blood chi was chaotic, and his face turned red. The other Zenith Heaven Guards did not dare to attack and could only follow. San Shi grinned. If you don't want her to break her arms and legs, it's best not to do anything. The Zenith Heaven Sword King had a murderous look on his face. If you dare to hurt her at all, you won't be able to escape. In not afraid of treats, San Shi sneered and immediately kissed Chen Yiling. He sighed and said, your face is really soft and bouncy. Shameless, Chen Yiling gritted his teeth. Kill me if you were a real man. The Zenith Heaven Guards was so angry that his sword chi was in a mess. He said with a dark expression, Sir, you're also a golden core. Aren't you being too lowly? And not a righteous person. Is it important that I am lowly? Song Shi didn't seem to care. He even deliberately pulled a strand of Chen Yiling's hair. I am hurting a strand of her hair right now. What can you do? The Zenith Heaven Sword King's expression turned as dark as the bottom of a pot. Don't go overboard. I will go overboard. Kill me then. Song Shi pushed his luck and deliberately kissed Chen Yiling again. All the Zenith Heaven Guards were so angry that they trembled and started cursing. You old fart. Don't you dare insult Miss Yiling. Shameless. You're a few hundred years old and you're still bullying a little girl. Let go of Miss Yiling if you can. It'll be the hostage. The group of people were filled with righteous indignation. In their hearts, Chen Yiling was like a fairy. Usually, they could only watch from afar. Why did outsiders like him have the chance to take advantage of her? It would have been better if they had not scolded him. After that, Song Shi was agitated and became even more outrageous. All right, 
Shut up. The Zenith Heaven Sword King could tell that this person was a shameless person. He stopped the others and stared coldly at San Shi. Leave. If you dare to hurt my disciple, you know what will happen. At least you have some awareness. I didn't want to cause trouble today, but you forced me to. If you find trouble with me in the future, Song Shi paused. He did not know how to threaten him, so he glanced at Chen Yiling. If you dare to provoke me, it'll make her pregnant. With that, he flew out with Chen Yiling. Damn it. Has too arrogant. What kind of person is this? How if Asterisk King Shameless? I really want to slash him to death. The Zenith Heaven Guards exploded on the spot. All of them were indignant and wished they could cut Song Shi into pieces. I told you to shut up. The Zenith Heaven Sword King glanced at everyone coldly. The Zenith Heaven Guards shrunk their necks and fell silent. Sword King, are we really going to let him go just like that? Someone asked them willingly. The Zenith Heaven Sword King snorted. Do you think I don't want to keep him? Although we only exchanged one move, this person's strength is not inferior to mine. Yiling is also in his hands. How can I stop him? The latter opened his mouth. Thinking about how that person shamelessly used Chen Yiling as a defensive method, it was really not easy to stop him. Unless he had the absolute ability to prevent the other party from injuring Chen Yiling. Furthermore, this person shouldn't be from the Sacred Fire Sect. He might not even be from Great Jin. Otherwise, there wouldn't be no information about him in the intelligence report. The Zenith Heaven Sword King continued, But we can't rule out the possibility that he disguised himself. Immediately get the intelligence you need to investigate. We can't let this person affect our subsequent actions. San Shi successfully escaped. Seeing that no one was chasing after him, he nodded. Your master is quite bold. I don't dare to hurt you because you have the background of being an official in Great Jin. Chen Yiling glared at San Shi. You define my innocence. Even if you don't kill me, I won't let you off for the rest of my life. Sure. Then marry me and give birth to my child to torture me. San Shi smiled ambiguously. Shameless. Chen Yiling really did not know how to deal with this fellow. She could not move and scolding was useless. For a moment, she was especially angry and almost crying. At least I've got some bite. San Shi grinned, revealing his white and neat teeth. Chen Yiling felt like she was about to explode out of anger. She bit San Shi's ear hard. She didn't believe that biting his fragile body part would not hurt the other party. San Shi's ear hurt slightly. Fortunately, his physique was strong, so he used some nomological power to block her hard teeth. He gave a strange laugh. Are you making out with me? Pui. Chen Yiling let go and spat out a mouthful of saliva. Seeing that San Shi's ears were intact, she felt despair. This guy's body was indestructible and he was especially shameless. Physically and psychologically, he was invincible. She really had no choice but to sigh and close her eyes in resignation. San Shi knew that he had indeed made Chen Yiz depressed. He stopped and said seriously, actually, you guys were the ones who caused this to happen. Don't just blame me. If your side didn't make a move, would such a thing have happened?